Hello everyone from Department of Genetic Engineering we welcome you all to this video in this video we are going to see how to set up and run SDS page SDS page that is sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis it is used for protein separation the proteins are separated based on their molecular weight in this video we have done SDS page to check for the expression of green fluorescent protein now let's see how to set up the gel plates. Before preparing the gel, the gel setup must be made ready. All the plates are cleaned using ethanol. On the bottom and sides of the notch plate, spacers are placed by applying fastening to them on either sides. This step is done in order to prevent any kind of leak. The binding clip is placed exactly on the spacers. Make sure not to place the binding clips across the spacers as it might lead to breakage. Once the clips are placed on the notch and glass plates, keep the setup on the holder and tighten it. Make sure it is not too strong or too loose. Once we are done placing the glass plates on the holder, we check for leakage. Water is added to the setup to check for leakage. In this setup, we can see that there is leakage. So, the setup is reassembled again considering that the setup shouldn't leak. Now we pour water again to check for leakage. The water is then removed using blotting paper. Let's see how to prepare the separating gel. To prepare the resolving gel, we need water, 30% acrylamide, 1.5 molar tris with a pH of 8.8, 10% SDS, 10% APS and TAMN. After adding each component, we have to ensure to mix the components thoroughly. We start by adding water in a farad. Once we are done adding the water, we add 30% acrylamide to it. Then we add dress with a pH of 8.8 .8 and shake the tube to mix it well. After which we are going to add 10% SDS and keep shaking the solution so it mixes well. Post which we will add 10% APS. Now, both APS and TAMED are polymerizing agents, so either one has to be added just before transferring the contents of the falcon tube to the plate. Once APS is added and mixed well, we are now going to add TAMED to it. After which, our resolving gel will be ready to pour. Now, pour the gel from sides of the plate for about 3 fourth of the gel setup. This should be 1 cm below the bottom of the comb for the stacking gel. While pouring, try not to trap any bubbles. Now layer the top of the resolving gel with water saturated butanol or just plain water. This step will help to remove the bubble on the top of the gel if any and will also keep the polymerized gel from drying out. It also allows us to check whether the gel has solidified or not.
We then allow this resolving gel to solidify for approximately 30 minutes to 1 hour at room temperature. We allow the resolving gel to set solidify. Now we can see that the gel has solidified completely. This can be observed by the gelling of the gel solution in the falcon tube or when a defined line is observed between the water and the lower gel. We can see the layer, the gel and butanol in the setup. Now remove the butanol completely and wash out the remaining traces of butanol with distilled water. Remove the excess water using blotting paper. We insert the comb on top approximately 1 cm gap between the we start preparing the stacking gel which contains water, 30% acrylamide, 1 mole at risk with a pH of 6.8, 10% SDS, 10% APS and 10 ml. Make sure to mix after adding each component. We start adding from water in a falcon tube followed by adding 30% acrylamide which allows the protein to move faster and concentrate in a neat band prior to being separated in a resolving gel. Mix the solution well and add 1 molar tris with a pH of 6.8. The reason for lower tris in stacking gel is that it allows the proteins in a sample to be concentrated into one tight band during the first few minutes of the electrophoresis before entering the resolving gel for separation. Now we add 10% SDS to the solution and keep the mixing the solution really well. After which we add 10% APS. And finally we add turmeric right before we pour the gel. Start pouring the gel from the sides to ensure that the gel is spread equally throughout the combs. Allow the stacking gel to polymerize. Without stacking gel, you will not get sharp band for one protein. Now setting up the gel. Once the gel is wet, we remove the setup from the holder and remove the combs from the plate. Post which we detach the lower spacer. Electrophoresis apparatus has completely set up in the gel tank. Now we start pouring the running buffer in the tank, making sure there are no bubbles at the bottom of the plate so that the gel can run properly. 
the buffers are added in both top and bottom of the tank. We will connect the tank to the power source. Negative electrode that is black to black and positive electrode that is red to red. Then we can load the sample and run at 100 volts until the diode dissociates to form the bottom of the gel. Then we can load the sample and run at 100 volts until the diode dissociates to the bottom of the gel. SDS page separates proteins primarily by mass because the ionic detergent SDS denatures and binds to proteins to make them uniformly negatively charged. Thus, when a current is applied, all SDS bound proteins in a sample will migrate through the gel towards the positively charged electrode. Proteins with less mass travel more quickly through the gel than those with greater mass because of the sieving effect of the gel matrix. The gel from the apparatus is removed from the glass plates. Place the gel in a small tray and wash it with water, post which we prepare the staining solution. We let the gel in the staining solution until the gel is completely stained in the rocker for overnight. This stain will permit the gel stain the protein and also fix the protein in place. Then we remove the staining solution and add the staining solution to the gel for almost 2 hours. After the de-staining solution is removed, the gel is visualized in white light. The proteins appear as blue bands and the gel can be stored in water. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you understood what SDS page is.